That was really fun to make. Um, no way is it sponsored, but Coca-Cola, if you're out there. But anyways, um, today we're working on the 240Z, this is, uh, the AC system. I'm gonna be installing, or at least trying to install the AC condenser. I kind of already started with uh, some of the brackets in the front. I'll show you exactly what I did and what I'm gonna do. But um, yeah, so we're gonna work on the condenser, uh, figure out some of the lines, some of the some of the fittings for the hoses, and go from there. See how much we can do. But anyways, let me start off by showing you what I got. Okay, on the condenser side, I picked up a 12 height by 24 length. It's about the correct size as you can see here. Here's the end of it. And it, it pretty much fills the gap about the radiator. Um, let me yank her out without hitting anything. Good. So it's pretty cool. Um, it has the mounting points up here. So it's pretty universal. You can mount it wherever you want. Um, the idea is this. It comes with these brackets right here. Um, so what I did is I took two of those brackets and I found these there's two screws that you can screw in here so I bolted both of them on um, this hole right here is too small so I just enlarged it so that you can fit the hole in there and so the idea is once you got two of these on there um, you can fit that guy through one of these holes to hold it on so I'm gonna do that now it's not a 100% permanent fit but um, just for mocking purposes which I'm going to do today, uh, I'm going to get it on there with, with these guys. And then maybe in the future we'll make a more permanent bracket. But um, yeah, so once we got that, I'm going to figure out all the fittings and hoses, routings and whatnot. So I'm going to show you what I have over there. Alright, so I picked up the universal fitting kit for that has 14 fittings. It comes with a condenser, no, what is it called? With a dryer and it also comes with a hose. So this is the dryer right here, just a regular old dryer. And then it comes with the hoses in all three sizes, different lengths. Um, I'm not gonna be using this guy. I actually also purchased this dryer. Uh, the difference between that one and this one is this one has that switch so that if something goes wrong with the AC, this little switch will uh, click on and turn off the compressor before everything blows up. This is like a little safety switch. You don't need it, but it's nice to have and I wouldn't want my AC blowing up, so I'm getting that. <laughs> and then over here, I will show you. These are basically all the fittings that come with it. It's a total of 14 fittings in the, th there's three sizes. The sixes, this is size six, size 10, size eight. And for the most part, I think I'm gonna use most of these. There's a couple of these. I already played around with on the car more or less where they're gonna go. Um, and I might not use a couple of these, but for the most part, most of these would be used. Um, the whole kit costs about 140 bucks. So if you factor these guys, the cost of these guys by themselves, and then the hoses, it's well worth it, even if you're, like in my case, not gonna use the this uh, dryer. Um, I could probably sell it and get some money back off of that too. But yeah, it's it's totally worth it getting uh, everything, getting that little kit, because uh, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room on where and how you wanna mount things. Um, unless you exactly know where you're gonna mount things and what angles you're gonna need for the fittings, then hey, buy, you know, just buy it everything separately and it's probably cheaper. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys this. This is my little notebook. And as you can see, um, it's pretty easy the way that the, the hose riding's gonna work. You get your AC units. Um, that one's gonna have two outlets, a size six and a size 10, the big one, little one. And then you have your compressor over here condenser and then the dryer so on the small side of, from the AC unit to the dryer is a size 6 hose the small one and then continuing from there to the condenser so it's also size 6 and then on the other end of the, uh, the condenser it's a size 8 that's gonna connect to one side of the compressor 
and then the compressor, the other side on the compressor is gonna come back to the AC unit with a size 10. Um, the ports, the high side, low side, where you charge the Freon and whatnot, the low pressure side is gonna be over here on the 10 between the AC unit and the compressor, and the high pressure side is gonna be over here between the compressor and the condenser, and that uses a size eight. Um, so you get some fittings. Here's the high pressure one. Here's the low pressure one. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you more or less how I plan on using these. And there's also a couple other pieces in the catalog that I'm gonna need because this doesn't solve the whole problem. So yeah, let me show you back on the car real quick. These guys, so let's do that. All right, so here we are at the compressor. Um, these two fittings have the little uh, charging ports right here. Uh, most people will actually use these guys on the compressor itself, keep them together, that way when you hook up your AC to charge it, um, it's all convenient. In this case, uh, someone pointed out that the way my compressor is currently mounted, the angle, I wouldn't be able to mount these, and they are 100% correct. But, um, in my case, I am not going to mount any of these guys onto the compressor. I am going to mount these somewhere else along the, the, the routing. Um, I called uh, Vintage Air and they said that's 100% fine and a lot of people do that. So I'm going to do that due to the fact that even if I tried to fit these here, um, there's no way, like this hose, the, the low pressure side hose has to go this way and the only way to get this pointing anywhere that I need it. It'd be pointing in the opposite direction and then the high pressure side's got to go that way. So it, it just, these guys don't work. What I'm gonna do is the low pressure side, I'm just gonna put a 90 and then run it this way all the way back into the firewall. And on the high side, I'm gonna run this one, I think it's a 45. So it's just gonna run the hose from here to here through the front. I'll show you over here. So on this end, you have the high side. The high side is the top one on the condenser. So we're going to plug that in there. And while it's pointing forward, the hose is going to just bend this way and connect and go through there and then to the, to the other adapter there. And we'll have the charging port up here. I know it's not the best place to put it, but I mean, how many times do you really charge your AC? <laughs> so as long as you're able to charge it, I think it's fine. So I'm going to put that guy there. Um, like I said, a, a big 90 for the 10 there, and it'll go to somewhere here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, they also sell an inline guy. Right here. So they sell this uh, inline uh, adapter that has the port. So, and they also make it for a size 10. So what I'm gonna do is, somewhere along the line, cut the hose, you know, fit this guy between both, crimp it, and now we have our, our low side port. So that's the plan with that. So um, yeah, that's the enough bladder for now. Um, let's go ahead and mount that condenser onto the car, muck it up, and see what happens. So this is where we're at. Um, we've got the condenser kind of mount mounted. Um, it's still a little wobbly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some sort of like bracket that goes down like that and then down again um, and put it right down there, basically where the uh, where the horns mount. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically make like a small shim between the horn and the body of the car. And then that bracket will bolt it onto the bottom of the condenser to basically hold everything on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fab that up. Not right now, I don't have the pieces, but soon. Um, but here's the high port. As you can see, it's very accessible from here. Um, 
and then the hose is basically gonna go that way around and in and then to the back to the to the back of the compressor so there'll be another fitting that way so that'll complete that from there and then over here on this side the skinny one it's gonna go from the bottom it has a 45 right there with the hose so it's gonna go through there into this guy from here into the firewall um, I don't know if I showed you guys this but these are the bulkhead fittings with a number six and ten six being small ten the big one so the six will connect to this guy so it basically be from this guy all the way to this guy and then this ten I'm gonna put a 90 go that way around and then into the compressor and then somewhere in between I'm gonna fit the one that has the little nipple to charge it so I don't have the correct drill adapter so I can drill the holes into here so I'm gonna do this later but this one's extra this one's nice because it has a little chrome plate there to make it look pretty um, it actually does the kit that you buy does come with bulkhead fittings they're both 90s so there's the 10 there's that one this one would work because we're going that way but this one I don't I would have to purchase another one that's either straight that way it comes out through here straight and then into here so this one unfortunately not going to be able to use but I could probably put it on eBay get a couple bucks back something but um yeah I think for right now that's gonna do it I'm gonna make those brackets off camera got a good material figure that out and then drill this guy out and then the next thing is basically start actually making the hoses scrimping them together not just mocking them up like that um, I bought the tool it should be here in about a week or so so by then I should have everything all the other fittings I need but um yeah I think that's gonna do it for this one sorry about th this one's a little boring it's more talking less doing but hopefully explains some of the stuff that I'm learning um, so you whenever you guys decide to do it maybe it helps maybe it doesn't but anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time